like you're mentioning that there were different types of dreaming or different types of uh, loose dreaming. Uh, do you want to maybe tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So, um, like you said, in the book, I really wanted to walk people through most of the common uh, di- the most common different states of dreaming, right? So we all have those dreams where we go to bed and we have symbolic dreams or we all have a dream like a nightmare or you can have a warning dream or a prophetic dream, right? So those are all different types of dreams that we have, but those dreams that we are fast asleep in terms of our consciousness, we only wake up in the morning and then realize, oh, well, I was dreaming that that experience happened to me during sleep. And then with the lucid dreaming, what happens is that actually lucid dreaming is the vehicle for something much more ancient known as dream yoga in buddhism but every single well almost every single ancient culture or tradition in the world speaks to dream practices for most modern people we know that as maybe shamanism or for some people as even paganism it really depends but the lucid dreams dream states, the different types of lucid dreams that you can have fall into that bracket. And so a lucid dream for people in the West, we consider it, okay, a dream where you become aware in the moment of the dream. But that's really just the beginning. That's like saying, I've learned to sit down on my meditation cushion. And now I know everything about meditation. And and we would say like, maybe not, right? Maybe there's a bit more, there's a bit of depth that we can go into. So you can have a pre-lucid dream, well, you can be pre-lucid, then lucid, then fully lucid, and then you can move beyond lucidity into dreams of clarity. And these are states of dreaming that I speak about in my book, but I really wanted to, when I wrote my book, I wrote it for people who were rekindling the connection to dreaming and for anyone who was a deep dreamer who'd been doing dream work for many years that they would get a snippet into the beginning parts of lucid dreaming so lucid dreaming in terms of what we've I've explored in my book is probably about a tenth of what you can actually do with it and so that it's a full full spectrum and every single dream in my opinion from a nightmare to an anxiety dream, to a full lucid dream can offer you something if you're willing to listen to the experience. Mm. 